Hey guys, welcome to my channel or back to my channel. My name's Hannah and this video is going to be just a quick little video of my room here at Queen's University in the graduate residence, also known as the gym. Hey, feeling good like I should. So, just before we get started, I want to let you guys know that my room is a lot bigger than a normal room would be because my room used to be an accessibility room. When you are in the process of selecting your room, you just pick what type of room you like and then it's randomly drawn for what room you're going to get. So, I just lucked out and got this one. So, keep that in mind when you're watching. As well, you guys are going to notice that I do have my own bathroom here in the graduate residence. That's just another perk of being in this super small residence. Other residences, you'll either have the choice of sharing your bathroom with one person or sharing your bathroom with the entire floor. If you share it with one person, that's called a single plus room. And if you share it with the entire floor, that can range from anything from a single room to a quad. Come on in. All right, so what you'll notice about my room is the first thing we have right here is a big dresser. Now, this is pretty standard for a lot of university rooms. You have the three drawers and then three down here and then a little closet with a mirror. All right, and then we come over to the desk. Um, I keep all my textbooks up here, some like more like leisure reading ukulele and lamp having a lamp with a clamp and like adjustable head is nice because i can use it if i'm reading or just extra light in the room and stuff like that also with the desk you'll notice that you have a cork board um so it's good to bring little pens and then uh for all your like pens and pencils and stuff and then all the rooms also come with a desk chair then over here we have another cork board as well i just put up like all my photos of different like friends and family. Then with the bed, um, all single rooms, quad rooms, double rooms, triple rooms come with a single bed. If you get a single plus room, you'll get a double bed. So that's just one perk of getting a single plus room. My room, I only pay for a single, even though I do have my own bathroom. So I only get a single bed. Um, it's like nice though. It's fairly comfortable. If you do have like issues, a lot of my friends use mattress toppers to make their beds more comfortable. Um, Windows really nice overlooking the student ghetto. Um, I get enough sun to like have my big snake plant and then like some essential oils and stuff like that. Um, then we have my posters. Over here's my closet. I'm about to like hang some like more dressy clothes, business stuff. Over here we have another mirror. Um, and then this is my bathroom. So it's super small. Basically, you just have a toilet. Over here, when you close the door, that's your shower. I brought my own shower curtain in because the light doesn't enter the shower well. All right, and then lastly, we have another dresser. So this is where I keep, I keep all my food in this one. And then um, shirts and sweaters are down there. Here, I have my sink. Again, a lot of rooms don't have their own sinks. If you have a single plus room, your sink will be attached to your bathroom, so you'll share it with one other person. Um, just a random J-Duck perk is that you do have a sink in your room. Um, and here, yeah, soap, towels. Behind here is a medicine cabinet, so I keep like my makeup in there. Other than that, that's my room. Welcome to the common room. This is the room where lots of people study, hang out. Currently we're watching The Bachelor, Manny's having a little study sesh. We got couches, super comfy, and just like an overall good place for everyone to just vibe. Anyways, that's my video today. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, you gotta smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, all those things. Goodbye.